Hello, in today's activity we are going to be looking at Curves Pursuit. For this activity you will need a nice sharp pencil, a ruler, preferably a 30 centimetre ruler and an A4 piece of paper. If you have got square paper it might be a good idea so that you can clearly use the squares to help you because you will be measuring lines today and putting dots on them and then joining the lines so it would actually be helpful if you had a squared paper. So a curve of pursuit is a curve constructed by an analogy so what you'll be doing today is actually you'll be drawing perfectly straight lines but the way you construct them you will end up seeing the curves like in the pictures. So let's take a look at the steps to making your own curves of pursuit masterpiece. So, as I said before, you will need a ruler and a pencil, and you will need some coloured pencils right at the end. So, I'd like you to follow the steps. So, first of all, if you're using square paper, it will be easier. I would like you to draw a 10 by 10 square. So, on square paper, it would help. Once you've drawn your 10 by 10 square perfectly with a ruler and a pencil, you can then see the corners they have, I would do it a centimetre. So if you look at the left hand side, I would draw one square down, a dot, and then copy where the dots are. Now they should be, you can put them on the squared paper, as so. Once you've drawn your dots, if you look closely at uh, the example on number one, you'll see where to put your dots. You will then use your ruler to join up the dots. So that shows you on step one, they join the line, step three, step four, and step five. Once you get to step five, you will see there will be a smaller square in your original square. So if we have a look at step six then, you will then do the same thing. In your new square, you are going to make four small marks. So again, it will be a one centimetre down, and you'll have four new dots and then you will start the process on number seven joining the dots and again it will make a small square and then you'll keep going and what you will notice is you'll see a slight curve in your work so you can have a go I would try with the square first and then if you feel really brave you can then go on to the other shapes which was shown in the following slide so what I have put here is some templates for you so you can see how you would make your original one. So I've got a triangle. Again, use square paper. And in short, if you're using the triangle, your tr original triangle is an equilateral triangle. I've got the template of the square and also the pentagon. So you can see what shapes you can create. So I hope you enjoy this activity and you get to create some wonderful curves of pursuit. I've put some examples on here of things that you can create and then you can use either felt it, you can use markers or colour pencils to colour them in neatly. So they're really nice intricate designs so you can use some fabulous colours, vibrant colours to make them even better. Hope you have a lovely day and enjoy the activity.